I'm so bored talking about David Moyes at the moment. So I thought we'd do a little West Ham News Roundup. Don't necessarily believe all the things that are in it. But you know what? I could do with a laugh, quite frankly. And it's a day not talking about David Moyes or the bottom of the Premier League and all that stuff. Let's be fair. We've got Manchester City coming up. That's, that's, a, that's something to worry about. And the semi-final of the Conference League is not for a little while yet. So we'll just concentrate on the news. I think uh, the first bit of news is, is bad news. And uh, this bit I do believe... And that is that Kurt Zuma is going to miss the Man City game. It may be for longer. It, they're not entirely sure how severe it is. They think it might be an ankle injury. Uh, clearly, he suffered those before. Not not the knee, but uh, there's a lot of there's been a there's been quite a bit of history uh, with Zuma's ankle. We may well remember a couple of months ago. I, I looked at the the um, the injury history of the player, and it wasn't great. There was there was definitely um, a few ankle problems, some heel problems on there as well. It's not just all, all about the knee. Uh, it, he's not having a scan today, contrary to reports, because because it's Bank Holiday Monday, isn't it? So he's actually having a scan tomorrow. So I, I, as I understand it, that's when we'll know the full extent of his injury. Um, Massive shame. I do think one of the... Uh, look, forget the Palace game for a second, if we may. I do think that our best partnership, or David Moyes would certainly perceive to be his best partnership, uh, would be a Gerd and Zuma. That, that was his ultimate, that was his long-term vision, wasn't it? And the fact that he can't do that. Zuma's a, a really, really good defender. He's been in excellent form for West Ham. Despite him carrying an injury for quite some time, ironically, not the injury he broke down with, but despite him carrying an injury for quite some time, West Ham are just better defensively with Kurt Zuma in the team. And if he is not back between now and the end of the season, that's going to be a massive, massive blow uh, to West Ham. Uh, just so as you know, um, we're not oblivious to the, the season ticket uh, price increases. We're going to do a separate video on that as well. There is a petition running at the moment from Hammers United. We're going to be having a little chat uh, about that as well. And just myself and Geo and what we think about that. About that, we, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, not giving any spoilers if I say that I think the price rises at this this particular point in time are a bit of a liberty, really. But anyway, we'll get onto that at another time. One of the stories that's that's caught my eye. Well, there's two actually. Uh, both Czech lads are rumoured to be off. So the first one is that West Ham fear losing uh, Czech midfielder Vladimir Soufal. Um, I, I, I can understand that why we might have a fear of doing it, but we're in the driving seat of that, which is basically, if we want to keep him, we've got a two-year option. Apparently West Ham are differing and, and don't really know whether to give him the two years or not. They'd like to give him a one year, but it's cause he's, that's the contract. Basically, give him two years or let him go. Now, there was a point earlier on in the season where we were willing to let him go. He, he lost his place in the team by Leverkusen were interested. And, you know, we, we basically stalled a little bit. I don't know why West Ham would be concerned about it. Either do it or don't do it. He either leaves on a free or you sign him up for another two years. We seem to want this halfway house. Just just, uh, just get the deal done if you want to keep him. We, we do seem to make an absolute muddle of almost everything we do. And um, and transfers are, are certainly no different. There is another, another story here. West Ham open to selling a long-serving midfielder this summer. They're talking about Thomas Suchek. Uh, it says West Ham are open to selling Thomas, Thomas Suchek this summer. The 28-year-old has made 29 league appearances this season. We, we, we know all about that. Um, but it says his time with the Hammers has not gone as planned. Look, it says he does. He, his contract is set to expire in 2024, and he has a 12-month contract extension. Um, West Ham are thinking about exercising that to preserve his value. <sighs> The, the, the best thing West Ham could have done to preserve Thomas Suchik's value is not change his position because there was a point during his, well, about 18 months into his contract when Bayern Munich were rumoured to be interested and, and a couple of other teams as well when his value was, all oh, right, OK, the rumours were 70 million, but were they quite believable then? No, but I think if someone had come, come in and bid 50 million at a point where he just scored 10 Premier League goals, you might have thought, OK, that's, reason, that's reasonable. Um I do I do have my own opinion on this one in terms of, look, Declan Rice is going to go as well. I do actually think it is an opportunity to overhaul the midfields. I really do. And I think if Declan's going to go, it might not be a bad thing if Suchek were to go as well. Because, again, you've got to put that Palace game out of your mind, haven't you? I do think that Declan Rice does cover a lot of the... Um, a lot of the deficiencies in Thomas Suchek's game, which are basically Thomas Suchek is dominant in both boxes at set pieces. But um, 
in terms of the general open play, you, you, you're going to need somebody to pass it. You're going to need someone to. You're going to. I think we need an athlete in there. I think we need a passer in there. I think we need a dribbler in there. If we're going to play with three, you want Paqueta and the two others to all complement each other. I'm not sure that would be the case. It'd be very very hard. Um, talking actually talking about Declan Rice's uh, replacement because we do actually have one uh, here, which is um, De Bruyne. Eintracht Frankfurt. Now, uh, a team we know all about, of course, Eintracht Frankfurt. It says that Rob Newman is, is... It says Rob Newman has been scouting the Swiss International. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the situation is with Rob Newman, if truth be known. As, as I... My early understanding of it was that actually it was... It was David Moyes that highlighted Rob Newman, uh, that, that wanted to bring him to the club, that wanted a recruitment director. As I understand it, the recruitment director was not something that the board wanted and didn't force on Moyes. It was Moyes going to the board and saying, we need someone to do this job. Um, and then basically, he cherry-picked him. And if that's the case, if we assume that, that David Moyes is, let's say he's 50-50 certainty to be at West Ham next season, where does that put... Where does that put Rob Newman and Rob Newman's role? Because if he was never really wanted by the board anyway, and he was David Moyes' selection, then I, I would think, that's just me, you know, maybe putting two and two together and coming up with five, that if David Moyes goes and Rob Newman goes, right? So I don't know. But I do understand that the people in place have probably got a plan for next season. Uh, so anyway, De Bruyne sell, Declan Rice's replacement. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, to be fair... We should have had this wrapped up anyway at the point where we were offered... What was it? Um, was it Caicedo at Independiente? I think that might have been it. And we were offered him <laughs> or Alex Crow. And, uh, um, and we went with Alex Crow, which doesn't seem like a very, very good uh, decision anyway. And looking at how Caicedo played when we played uh, Brighton... Um, I mean, it was all over us, absolutely all over. Well, the whole Brighton team swarmed us, really, didn't they? Uh, so anyway, there's that. Here's the one that I do find particularly interesting, um, and that is Kieran Tierney. Kieran Tierney, um, Arsenal left back. Now, he was actually Arsenal's primary left back, although he had suffered from injury, and then they brought in Zinchenko. Zinchenko has, has really pushed, pushed Tierney out of the picture. He's played played against us actually, didn't he recently? Uh, but by and large, he is that he's playing second fiddle. Zinchenko's come in. Zinchenko's better suited really to how uh, to how Arteta wants to play. But Tini's a hell of a player. He really is a very very good player, and I would love him at West Ham. I'd be interested to see what Gio thinks about this. But I know, in fact, it's interesting to know. I know Gio thinks he's a really really good player. But one thing Gio always does say is that he's injury prone. And I do think this is something that West Ham have done very, very poorly over the years in terms of highlighting players who have a bad injury record. The whole reason, going back to the start of the video, I spoke about um, Kurt Zuma. The whole reason that I went through and did a video about his injury record was actually about his and Maxwell Cornet's. Well, to see, was there evidence there before? I, I thought it was a rhetorical question with Zuma. I, I knew it was there. Um, I was sort of exploring it with, with Cornet. All the signs were there all the way through their career that you could actually see it was going to happen. And I just think that's something that West Ham have been very, very bad at doing. Highlighting and identifying players who already have injury problems. They arrive at West Ham. Whoa, whoa whoopie do. Lo and behold, who would have thought it? What a surprise. They've got an injury problem. And I think you might have that. Uh, with Kieran Tierney, who is obviously a very, very good player. He's only 25. I, I, I was surprised at that, actually. I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know how old I thought he was. I didn't think he was 40. But I, I did. I was a little bit surprised to find he was 25 years of age. Um, I don't know. I, 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 st I just think if you go and buy a player like Tierney, you've got to go and buy another left back. Oh, do you? Or do you? Is it actually he all right? Bear, is he, bear in mind we've got Cresswell there. And bear in mind we've got Emerson there. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just reading the uh, the West Ham gossip, the transfer tittle tattle, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with. Uh, well, I was going to say I won't moan about David Moyes uh, tomorrow. I cannot promise anything. But there you go. That's your news for today.